tell the camera what's going on currently with the painting. I was gonna look cute today, and then the cramps hit, and the sadness, and the emotional turmoil. So I'm wearing a girl outfit, and I am painting anyway. This is my Vicks plant. I started growing it in college. I have an olive tree, a Dracaena. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't remember what that one's called. I don't remember what that one's called. Now the real reason you paint it orange underneath is because blue and orange are complementary colors. So when you paint blue over orange, then all your blues pop out even more because the orange is like, it's like an exclamation point for the blue. In here where like the blue is right next to the orange, how much more bright and powerful the blue is because of the orange underneath it. So as I'm starting to fill this in, the pinks and the other oranges become much more powerful too because all the cooler colors start to contrast with those colors. And then as I add cooler colors into her face, the oranges also pull out those cooler colors so that her face has a lot more contrast and is much more interesting to look at than like just a blob on a piece of white paper or something. This is like, I think this is like day four or five of painting. I've only talked one day because I just like couldn't muster the energy to move the camera. Oh, fun story. This apron got me thinking of Little House on the Prairie. When I was a kid, I was in a Laura Ingalls Wilder pageant. 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 Laura Ingalls. Laura Ingalls. <laughs> Laura. Laura Ingalls Wilder pageant. I was like probably like 10 to 12 years old. What they did was they gave you a sheet of paper and they were like, hey, fill this out. It has a bunch of questions about like your favorite parts of the books that you've read. I had only read the first book. So I said, what was your favorite part of the books? My response was I liked, I liked the part where Bob butchers the pig takes the bladder out, blows it up, and turns it into a balloon that the kids could play with. Did you think it was funny when um, Pa blew up the bladder and then they made head cheese and stuff and they played with it? No, I didn't really find it funny, I found it disgusting. I don't know what else I said. I think it was because I was the only kid that was like barefoot. I actually won the pageant. I got to stand on a float in a parade and wave my little hand. If someone came up to me and handed me a balloon and I was playing around with it and then they were like, oh yeah, like my cat died. <gasps> oh no, that got really dark. <laughs> if someone told me that I was playing with a balloon and it was actually a pig bladder, I think I would throw up. I don't think I'd do very well after that. I don't think I'd ever trust balloons again. What the are you doing? Anything to prevent myself from painting, right? 